time again this morning. And you know, during the week, as people in the church were sharing prayer needs with me, I was thinking about the wide variety of prayer prompts, prayer requests that we have. There are so many, and I'm sure you're finding the same at home. So when we give you the prompt to press the pause button this morning, that wide variety of prayer needs will come into play. You know, those of you who have just got some joy that you want to dance before the Lord and share with him, some of you that have got a heartbreak that you can't tell anybody else, you can tell him, and he wants to know about it. Mm. If you want to pray for the world situation, mm. if you want to pray for your family, if you want to pray for your own personal needs, and especially if you want to pray that Jesus will draw you closer to himself, that will be a really good time. So let's pray. Loving Father, as always, we know that you welcome us into your throne room and we're here. Those of us in Nambaka, those of us scattered elsewhere, we're all gathered together in your throne room. And right now, as we press that pause button, we bring our personal needs to you. And we continue, Father, thank you for that special time. Thank you that you heard every pain. You even heard every unspoken word because sometimes our pains are just too difficult to put into words. But you know what they are, and you receive them. And now, as we continue gathered together in prayer, we just lift up to you our church family, and that's not just Nambaka Baptist Church family, our wide church family worldwide. Those that are struggling with persecution, those that have all sorts of different difficulties, those that have joys, all of us. And Lord, the one thing that we want to ask above everything else is that we will learn more about you every day, that we will draw closer to you every day, that we will become stronger and more effective in your service every day because you want to use us. And Lord, now as we move forward in our service here, our worship service, we commit it to you. We commit to you every person who will log on to the web, no matter where they're from. We ask that every need will be met in you. We ask that the words of the songs will help those that you have chosen them for. We ask that the Bible reading will touch the heart of those that you have chosen for it to touch. And we ask that as we listen to Peter's message, we will receive it, we will be glad to learn from it and apply it. And above all, Lord, we thank you, we praise you that we can worship you in this way and that you are receiving our worship. We are able to bring glory to your name and you're our God, you're leading us. Thank you. Amen.